Um, I don't think there's like one specific thing. I mean, there, I'm sure there's been things that I'm like, holy shit, like that was insane. But yeah, I get, we got a lot of letters. Yeah. I just read a letter that some young lady gave to me outside that was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like we, she wanted anything in return. It was just like, you guys inspire me, so I hope this inspires you to keep, you know, continue to work hard. So that, things like that. Yeah, things like that I think are the most helpful when things are weird. <laughs> Absolutely. Sandals while you shower. <laughs> that's how yeah. college is, though. But, yeah, I mean, it sucks. You don't want to get, you don't want to get weird <laughs> shit on your Yeah, that's true. I would say lack of sleep. I'm all right with doing that right now. We're young. Mm -hmm. We are young. I feel old. <laughs> your mustache makes you look older. Than me. Uh, meeting a lot of great people. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know any of these guys on this tour prior. We had met the guys in Never Shout once or twice before, but never really knew any of the bands. Uh, and ended up becoming really, really good friends. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody's really awesome. awesome. So, just stuff like that, I guess. That and just mm -hmm. seeing places that maybe you've never seen mm -hmm. is always cool plus. You're stumping them today. I, I know, say, right? I would say nobody. I mean, I would just say... No ex-girlfriend? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have many of those. That you don't. Uh, Teachers. But I, I... No. I don't even... I feel like everything that I've done has made me who I am, and everything that people have done to me has made me who I am, so... I'm sure there's some friends. They're going to be crawling back. They're going to be crawling back here pretty soon. No, I actually have this friend named Sean that I haven't talked to in a while. And there was no reason I stopped, we stopped talking or anything. I just haven't talked to him. She'll probably hit me. Do you mean like confront, like, like... Just anything about whatever. Oh, uh, just anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a few I'd love to see. Definitely. That I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. But... Yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> that, that, that's just right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I seem to watch that show How It's Made, like constantly. Have you ever watched it? Yeah. Oh, fucking What's awesome. the money one? I was like, they make blue jeans and a money. Sorry. Like, what are you talking about? No, I have no idea. She what she was she was talking about. About. No, but uh, that show, I like. It really makes me happy when I watch it. I don't know why. It's just very like interesting. It's a time to like. What is that on? Not have to think about anything else. It's yeah. on like Discovery. Yeah. Like, yeah. This one you would like. It's me watching things being made. You would like the money one. Uh, going to Indonesia for me so far. That was like uh, as well breathtaking. I guess it was, it was just insane to take, to go somewhere that far. Away. I think that whole week we went to Hawaii before we went to Indonesia. Yeah, and that, was that like, whole week was awesome. Just pretty killer. Yeah, a lot of eye-opening experiences. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. And a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, emergency. Really? Never had a hangover. Oh, never. I seriously have never had a hangover. That's you just jinxed yourself. You're gonna have one like tomorrow. Maybe tonight. <laughs> See how it goes. <laughs> I'm um, something you guys I went like. back on tour with Austin Gibbs. I had a lot of time. I saw you a lot of fun like that. Yeah, I think. I think. I mean, if it were like, if there were no boundaries, I would love to maybe tour with like Bruce Springsteen or something like that. That's the first thing I thought of. But Austin Gibbs is just as good as Bruce Springsteen, in my opinion. He's the man. Um, but I, I really like uh, the storytelling that Bruce Springsteen does, and I think I could learn a lot from him. Just maybe like the Austin. replacements. That'd be sweet. That would be fucking awesome. That would be sweet.
Um, I mean, I don't think I, I could pick one certain song. I think this new album kind of means the most to me thus far. Yeah, experience-wise, uh, give it to me. Uh -huh. um, me and John were staying back, and he was doing vocals, and I was just hanging out with him for the last like little bit of the recording, and we just kind of there was like a completely different vocal take on that and stuff. And we kind of were just jamming one night, and that came up. So that was that was a cool thing for me to be a, be a part of. I, I enjoyed that. So that's all I'm getting. That's all. That's a place in my heart, I guess. Uh, I would have just graduated college. What college? Arizona State. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not knowing what I was going to do. Yeah, I'd be very, I'd be more lost than I am already. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. They all ended up just kind of. Well, he just kind of did them. Yeah. <laughs> like the the punk goes uh, classic rock thing. We just did that, and then they ended up putting, putting together that. a compilation called Punk Goes Classic Rock. I don't know if we have anything to do with that or what, <laughs> but. Um, well, but, uh, we also had that Acon cover like six months before. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it was no, like two but we years. were doing. Oh, well, we were doing that for a different compilation. Yeah. So that was for that purpose. Make, yeah. But the, the Def Leppard thing was more because we wanted to uh, make it easier for people to associate with our band on War Tour, where it's like kind know, of a so conglomerate of so much different like styles of music and like. You know, so if nobody liked our songs that we wrote, the, hopefully they would like that song. Um, that but as far fun. as the covers go, I, I just think last night we played at Northeastern in uh, Massachusetts after the show at the House of Blues, and uh, all these kids were yelling to, for us to play Akon, and we were playing acoustic, and I was like, we don't know how to play that song. So <laughs> it's funny, like, how influential it is to cover a song because. I feel like a lot of those people last night only knew us for Akon's version, or a our version of Akon's oh, dude, song, I mean, so... There's been situations like that, too. But I think from now on we're going to be very selective if we ever cover songs. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it is fun, though. Yeah. Like, if you pick one that you actually enjoy and, like, you want to, like... I just hate it when a band just takes, takes the song and then just just covers it and plays it exactly like the band did Yeah, I was before. today when you guys did Roses for the evening with the main. I had no idea it was Roses until the chorus. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. There you go. That's probably my favorite one. Because uh, that was out of the blue. Yeah, that one was definitely... We were working on that Cuddy one that was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. Do okay Cuddy one, but... I don't know. The Roses one was definitely, definitely fun. But I don't know. They've had, they've had points in time where I've enjoyed them all, but... I don't know. It was like the week after we did it. Yeah, and then <laughs> and after that, it was like second week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know.